two. Okay, let's see what is that. Okay, let's see this part. We're going to see the use of the nuclear energy in some of the country. Okay, first one is the lack of other energy sources. So from here, uh, most of the country, they're using nuclear energy. Why? Because they lack of the energy such as a coal and bacteria. So that's why in Malaysia, we still can using the normal uh, to generate the electricity, for example, for burning for the gas, for the petroleum, because we still got the sources. Okay, but the other country, they don't have any of these sources, so they can using the uh, another one that should be the nuclear energy. Okay, so for the wars of the country, that can high population for density. Example, the population should be high, should be the China. Okay, so that's why large amount of energy they need to use. So that's why they're using the uh, power for the produce, but nuclear energy, that's enough okay, to survive all the population there. So this one is a good choice for the country that's a high population. Now we're going to see the use for the uh, nuclear energy in uh, some of the country. Another one is uh, sophisticated for the technology. So the first one example, they're always conducting, conducting about the research and also development. So that's why now the able can be reduced the risk and also the nuclear reactor. Okay, another one is a source of the national income. So if the electricity is more than needed by the own country, that means they can supply, supply the electricity to the neighboring country and also earn some income. So this one is uh, uses of the nuclear energy for other country. Okay, now we're going to see the impact of using the nuclear energy. The first one sure is the effect of the nuclear energy. So this one is the first effect uh, they're using for the uh, chain reaction. When the chain reaction, that's uh, uncontrolled. That means they cannot control, that's why they will produce a nuclear bomb. So this one is a one of the effect of the nuclear energy. Okay, then we go to see the next one. Okay, the next one is the contaminated site of the nuclear reactor. So from here, they say the hyper technical, there's a radioactive lead from the nuclear power plant. They underground the piping of the system. So this is one of the radioactive effect. Okay, they damage the pipe. So from here, you can see the underground pipe that we damage by the contaminated site nuclear reactor. Okay, the third one should be the radioactive wave. Okay, when the waves you cannot control become properly, so there's a, another effect. Let's see the effect is what. Okay, they will destroy the building. So this one is a normally the building that destroyed by the nuclear energy because the waves normally they buried under the ground. So when they're under the ground, they will affect the area. So the area that will destroy the building. Okay, then the next one should be the risk of the radioactive waste they use for build the nuclear weapons. When they do the nuclear weapons, they might have the testing. When they do the testing, that means they got affected to the surrounding area. Okay, now we're going to see the effect of the radiation spread from the nuclear test. Okay, first one we got somatic effect, another one we got genetic effect. Okay, let's see the first one for somatic uh, effect. We got first one is a tiredness. Okay, number two is a nausea. Three is a cataract. Then number four is a leukemia. And the last one should be the hair loss. So this one is a normally it's a physical. That means we can see what's the effect. Okay, let's see the genetic. Genetic means that for the coming generation. Okay, the first one should be the deformation in the babies. Okay, number two is a mutation. Number three is a cancer. So this one is a all genetic effect. Okay, this is an example for tiredness. So you find it when you're working, when you're doing something, you feel very tired. So maybe this has an effect from the radioactive. Okay, number two is a nausea. That means you feel want to vomit. You want to eat. When you see the food, you want to vomit. 
that's a cataract so you find it the eyes become white part at the center so this one we call normal another one is the eyes with the cataract so that one is a problem okay next one should be the leukemia leukemia means the white blood okay the white blood is more than the red blood so this one is the effect from the radiation And the last one should be the hair loss. Okay, when you uh, detect more about the radiation for the during time, you are exposure more for longer time. So you find it this one is uh, another effect for the hair loss. And then this one is a uh, 12.4, the nuclear energy in Malaysia. There's a factor to consider the operating for the nuclear power station. Okay, first one. Okay, why we want to operating for power station? Uh, first one is a depletion of the fossil fuel. So we normally using the charcoal and also the petroleum. This one is a non-renewable energy. When it just finished, that means we know more already. So we need to using the new part for generate electricity. So we just think about nuclear power station. Okay, number two is the effect of the pollution. Because of the coal and also petroleum, we need to burn. So when they burn, they produce a, a greenhouse effect. So that's why we want to reduce this part. So we want to consider about nuclear energy. Okay, location of the nuclear power station is more strategy. So that means when it just built already, that means the location is more strategy. That means you can build the electricity. And the last one is the rate of energy produced. Sure, is more and more than the normal coal and also petroleum generate electricity so there will be more multiple energy produced by the nuclear power station okay, so that means the chapter 12 actually there's a finish we don't have so many important things for memorize for this part two so important on the discard is the exercise chapter 12 nuclear energy before that i give you the exercise okay so you can see this diagram Okay, this diagram is about the uh, nuclear energy for the reactor. They occur in the nuclear reactor. So from here, they got P. Okay, the P is uh, bombarded the nucleus Q. After that, the split become two lighter nucle nucleus. After that, they got uh, three neutron to come out. So from here, let's see the question. Okay, the question here, they mention... This is a process to break one heavy radioactive nucleus into the two and also more. Okay, after that, accompany with the energy release. Can you name the process name? So the process name here is a nuclear fission. Okay, the bigger size make it become smaller size. Okay, now we go to the B. Okay, the reactor in a 1A will occur continuously. What's the name for this reaction? When it just continue, that means they will continue to do the nuclear fission, then the energy will double and triple to produce. So the process, we call it chain reaction. Okay, now they ask what's the particle for the P. Okay, particle for the P, they go to bombard it, is it? So that one should be the neutron. Then the atom Q, atom Q, there's a big nucleus. The big nucleus, we call it as a uranium. Okay, after that, what's the energy they produce should be the nuclear energy. Okay, now we're going to see the uh, uses for this energy. So the uses of, of this energy important, they want to generate electricity. So we're going to see the answer to generate electrical energy. Okay. The question number two is to show the diagram, another method for producing the nuclear energy. So this one, you can see this part, two isotopes, there's a lighter nucleus, they join together, produce a bigger size of the stable nucleus. After that, they got helium and also neutron. So this process combine the two lighter nuclei to form the heavier nucleus. So this one, they release energy, the process we call it as a nuclear fusion okay there's a lighter become heavier okay what where does this one process will happen they will happen at the light very high temperature 
The high temperature means where? That's in the sun. Okay, then we go to number three. Okay, Malaysia, they does not have the nuclear power station. However, Malaysia also uses the nuclear energy in a certain field. Okay, can you state the certain field? They want example they use for nuclear energy. Okay, for this one question, they're talking about the cobalt 60. So, sure, it's a medical field. So, from here, they're using the medical field. After that, what ray? They're from the cobalt 60. From the cobalt 60, normally it's a cancer treatment. So, they're using the gamma ray. From the cobalt 60, are used to kill. Kill is a cancer cell. In what treatment? The treatment should be therapy. Okay, radiotherapy treatment. Okay, after that, we go and see the nuclear power station. This one is a diagram for the nuclear power station. Finally, how to generate the electricity. So the part A should be the reactor. Okay, after that, they go to heating. Okay, this part should be the generator. C and D should be the generator. Okay, now we're going through the question. Okay, let's see the question. First part, they show the tape, the, the rain, the map, how to flow. Okay, the first one should be the reactor P. After that, they say heat. After that, got water. Then produce the steam. Then after that, the spin for turbine. Then after that, the generate, uh, turn the dynamo first. After that, generate electricity. So from here, the first one, name the reactor P. So the reactor P sure is a nuclear reactor. Okay, because the first part must starting the... Uh, radioactive first. Okay, now the second question. Can you state the radioactive element that's uh, used for the reactor P? So reactor P, you want to produce the nuclear fission. So we're using uranium. Okay, now number three, they ask you what process. The process sure is a nuclear fission. Okay, now we need to complete this table flow. Okay, they say the energy changes during the generation for the electrical energy. So, first one, nuclear energy for nuclear fission. Okay, number two, sure, is a heat energy. Because you heat up, they produce the steam. After that, the steam go to turn the turbine. So, turn the turbine should be kinetic energy. After that, generate electricity. So, from here, they say name the radiation that emitted. They give the advice affected the help for the living things during the generation of the nuclear energy so for the help okay for the living things they want sure it's a gamma ray okay now this one is a one of the article so after you read the article so we can answer this one so from here they say i'm um, making what for another one so what we're making we're making the uh, nuclear weapons Okay, for what? For the war. Okay, then B, they say to test how well for working. So the first one, what they test? They're using the nuclear test to test how well for the nuclear weapons work. Now, the last one, we go to addition in causing the date. Okay, take one, the impact using the nuclear weapons on the life and also the environment. So the first one, they say kill the body cell. Yes, the radioactive radiation, they will kill the body cell. Okay, number two, the causes the cancer. Yeah, because they got cancer treatment, is it? So this one is a yes. Okay, number three, they cause about cataract. Yes, there was another effect for the somatic. Okay, after that, mutation also, yes, that's a genetic. Okay, leukemia, yes, that's a somatic again. Then after that, they said destroy the building. Yes, just now I show you the diagram. They will destroy the building. Okay, after that, pollute the environment. Yeah, they can provide. They can pollute the environment. Example for the thermal pollution. Okay, after that, the causes about the arterial carosis. No, that one is a cholesterol. That's a not related. Okay, the next one should be causes the deformities for the fetus. Yes. Okay, after that, lower the pH water. That's a not related because there's an acid. Okay, after that, it causes the sterility. Yes. And the last one, burn the skin. Yes, there's a high heat. 
So that means the next lesson, I will continue to give you the exercise for this one, nuclear energy. So hopefully you understand. So we finish all the syllabus, then we continue our exercise for revision. So just thank you for your watching. Thank you.